Hey friends, it's Derek from TCI and I'm doing something a little different in this video. This is going to be sort of a vlog. Uh, I don't often have the opportunity to share with you uh, long form all of the things that I'm working on. So I want to make sure that I keep sharing knowledge and training and things that we experience. And I can't always do that long form because I'm not always in a position where I can carefully document everything that's going on. So this is just going to be kind of an informal short tour of what I'm working on from time to time. So what they've got me working on today is I'm in a <clears throat> riser closet or a telecom room. So against the wall here are a bunch of what I would consider uh, these are dry pairs or these are cross connects for the phone system. And what I'm here today doing is I'm looking for a internet providers uh, on-prem equipment. So the internet provider that we are working with today for this client, they drop a either a copper handoff or a fiber handoff. And so we're looking for that device. Now, just to save us all a lot of time, I located it. It's right here. And then you can see that I've got my laptop. There's some customer <laughs> equipment here that could be better laid out. I'll get around to it. You know, I'm going to clean that up. Uh, but this customer equipment is phone system. There's a channel bank for the elevator uh, call for help area. There's a firewall. There's a switch. There's an interesting thing here. This is an Ethernet extender to get to. This is kind of a large facility. And so this takes a phone line that goes for about 1,000 feet, converts it to Ethernet. So there's a matching extender on the other side. And that's just like the things that you're seeing here in the, in the shop. So what I'm actually here to do is hook up a new internet connection to this equipment. And this is the old internet equipment. And all they've given me to work with is a circuit number. So like if I'm looking at different devices that are here, I'm like, I'm examining circuit numbers and I'm not finding what I'm after. So if we look again in this room, there's this cabinet. So why don't we go take a peek? So I've opened that door to that cabinet up and there's quite a lot of ISP equipment in here. And I've worked with this vendor before, so I know what I'm looking for. But what, we're, what we've got here is all the fiber handoffs end in this cabinet. And so what they'll leave behind is they'll leave behind a single copper cross connect and that's meant to go to that equipment over there. So now that I've located it and I found what I'm after, I'm going to configure IP addressing information with my laptop onto that device and then I'm going to check and make sure that we're doing a good job yeah, we've got traffic flowing, all that sort of thing. And it's just a simple edge router. We're going to swap all this out for MicroTik equipment in the near future. But just to keep them operational, that's what we're going to do right now. <clears throat> so unfortunately, I can't share with you circuit numbers or actual IP address information for obvious reasons. Uh, so I'm going to do that next. But before I do that, my next uh, task is going to be I'm going to run a wire up over the ceiling through this grid stuff and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to run my wire into this cabinet and just patch into that spot. So this thing, uh, we'll take that out and then we will have our own direct link to the equipment over here. And it's going to be super important to label that stuff. As you can imagine, if I come across it later, Probably not going to remember what that was about. So I put a lot of detailed notes on my sticky labels and I stick that to the biscuit and I also stick it to the, um, to the cable itself. So here's like an example of what we'll end up with in the end is you'll end up with a, get that out of there. You'll end up with a biscuit of some sort and there'll be detailed notes on that biscuit. There'll also be possibly a version like this where it's just a cross connect or a coupling and that's a good place to put 
put down notes that explain why we're doing this, what it was about, and what its intent was. And I like to also put a date that I installed it to help me, uh, you know, just gather as much information as possible on how relevant a cable is if I come across it later. Well, I got to get to it. So as just sharing a quick vlog with you guys. I appreciate that you're watching this. I'm going to do one of these every time I find myself in a basement like this and just share with you what I'm doing, what I'm coming across. And I'll talk about some of the items that I'm passing in my travels. And that way, you know, I'm not dead in between my long format uploads. You can see that we're in fact working. Uh, so until then, we'll be building great networks.